believed the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Mm -hmm. All righty. Back on the Normandy. Stand by, shore party. Okay. Decontamination. Commander, you look pale. Ow. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? There's... not gonna say I feel good, but... The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Alright. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Let's do this. Let's... Relax, Commander. Let's do this. Embrace eternity. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? <coughs> anything useful? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Damn. Alright. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Okay, then. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. All right. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? <sighs> yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander. Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. Oh, shit. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. Okay. For some reason, Twitch is deciding. Let's take a look. Is Twitch going to say... Yes, okay, Twitch says I'm alive now. And fantastic. Okay, cool. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Oh, eat a goddamn dick. 30 goddamn dicks, even. Being uh. human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Always. Goodbye, Commander. My... We will be waiting for your next report. Let that not uh, not come back to haunt you when you say, make sacrifices for the greater good. Sorry, I've got to deliver here. Just loading up some new magazines. <coughs> Alrighty. Let us see what we've got. Hmm. Actually, let's go back to the Citadel and finish off some... Um, 
Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Okay. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Gets two now. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Well, I wish you had told me about this. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Okay. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. My interest? Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Ah, good. Vermeer. Look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. Sure. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. No, you won't. Okay. Let's head back to the Citadel, finish off some of the uh, uh, additional little tasks that we just have in our in our issues log. Oh, hi Presley. You're uh, feeling a bit light in the loafers, are you? Yes, Commander. There we go. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. There you go. We'll just bring you back down to Earth there. Uh, making dad jokes. Okay, so we have finished. these five systems. Let's go back to the Citadel, say hi, finish off Emily Wong, and Chorbin, and a few others. And, uh, and do one or two more uh, secondary systems. And then, what do you think, Vermeer or Novaria? Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Alrighty. We have... Ah. If CSEC were better at its job, there'd be no need for bounty hunters like me. I thought I saw something over here. Normandy Hill, there we go. I am not under your command, sir. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, 5th Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. 
You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on <coughs> our ship and you. It's kind of racist of you. I still serve the Alliance, sir. As a Spectre, I can advance our interests to the Council. Hmm. You still know what color your blood is, Shepard? I don't Pur begrudge purple. the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. This ship has saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I could deny you. Is there any, like, repercussions? Well, you'll probably be dead in a few years anyway, so... I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? Modified Turian style. They prefer commanders looking over their subordinates rather than in the middle of them. We wanted to see how effectively they can command with that setup. Hmm. Reasonable goal, but they should have studied that in a lab rather than on a frontline warship. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. Yep. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. We can loiter in an enemy system and monitor traffic or drop infiltration teams on enemy worlds. Normandy could be more effective than the Solarian STG. Maybe, maybe. But that's not the job of a proper warship. But, but We're this is a frigate. To find and kill Jackass. the enemy fleet, not count how many times their garrison goes to the bathroom. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment? Uh, a little bit of a xenophile. I, uh... Well, I really like them. Between Saren and the Geth, we have enough enemies out here. Treating other species with suspicion and distrust won't win hearts and minds. That assumes the hearts and minds are worth winning. That hasn't been proven yet. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? I think Normandy is a good ship, sir. Even if you disagree, you have to see that her joint construction and multiracial crew make the Alliance look better. Your job is to look good, Commander. The Alliance navies is to win wars. I'm not convinced Normandy isn't a waste of taxpayer money, but I am convinced that you believe otherwise, and that you'll use it to its best ability. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I had planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. I, I don't like him, but I can't necessarily hate him, because he was supposed to get the ship, and he would have used a lot more fighters, and he has some valid criticisms, but he's a jackass. That, that being said, he's also a so high-ranking jackass. How about Is this better than c -Sec? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats c -Sec. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. <laughs> where's, he, where's my elevator music? I was promised elevator music. Oh, I, you know, I shouldn't punch this. Couldn't punch Kalisa in Commander the face. Commander Shepard? Kalisa been seen in Aljalani, Westerland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. 
by being the best around. No one's ever going to bring me down. The galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I... Like, I would love to just do that and punch her in the goddamn face, but... I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Uh, I'm looking at third game things, honestly. That's why I'm not punching her in the face. All right, now, I don't think there was anything in here I needed to get done. That being said, oh, right, we got to go talk to Conrad. Back in a moment. I've been raised to see Krogan as bloodthirsty thugs, but you've surprised me, Rex. You are different. The genophage is a lot easier to swallow when all Krogan are savage monsters, isn't it? Why don't you head back to the Normandy, kid? If you stay here in the real world, you might have to learn something. All right. It's a bank statement. It shows that I bought something from you, and when I bought it. Well, thank you for buying from me, but this still doesn't prove that you purchased that item from my store. But I didn't buy anything else here! How do I know that? If you don't have the proof of purchase, I can't help you. But... Sorry. <laughs> this guy is in all three games as well, FYI. See if you can, uh... Figure it out.
There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. You're president of that, aren't you? Hey, can I get your picture? Uh... Sure. I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard unless uh, I get a picture. Creepy? Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. I don't think that's right, Conrad. I do not think that she will enjoy that. <clears throat> Alright. Um, what do we got? We've got assignments. Right. Uh, Nassania Dantius. Um, oh, hey. I'm... Uh, oh, I, I need a lot more heavy metals. <clears throat> but I am close to everything else. Nassania. Rex Family Armor. Gotta get that. Celion. Okay. And. Yeah, he's har he's, har he's armless! Signal in the Presidium. Right. Um. Right. And, oh, right, I gotta go talk to Emily Wong on the Presidium. And talk to the Admiral as well. Okay. Let's go over here Thanks. to... Yeah, Quasi. Um, I will be playing all three and streaming all three. Um, even if it kills me. And... Uh, so just keep watching and uh, talking, and uh, we will get through all of them. But by the time that we have um, Mass Effect and Drona coming out, oh right. Now Emily Wong should ah oh, there we are. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. <laughs> I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and Seems I like wondered if you could help. Grid. That seems like a step down from wide-scale oh. corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but, but uh, you I can. could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. What's in it for me, though? <coughs> if you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but hmm. traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? Maybe. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. All right. Sure. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. 
thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. All right, let's go over to talk to the Admiral. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. I know who you are. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah, so... A little bit of a problem, Admiral. You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau Cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? So... I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. See, this is a better Rear Admiral. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. Okay, um... Shorbin should be... Or did we already finish that one? Plant the bug. Oh. Alright, that's done. Cool. Uh, then... So I'll get to C-Sec later. Actually, no, I'll go, I'll go to C-Sec right now, then come back up here. Talk to Emily. Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. If CSEC were better at its job, there'd be no need for bounty hunters like me. So, so it's in inconspicuous. Okay, we're good, right? Hi guys, just checking in. I am glad I'm being able to do this on my, uh, <clears throat> one of my off weeks, so I can get through the bulk of the, not necessarily boring parts, but the less, uh, I mean, I, I, I enjoy Mass Effect 2 a lot. I do enjoy Mass Effect 1 a lot, but a lot of the things like planetary exploration does take up a little bit of time. getting readings this is gonna make a great story thank you so much for your help here this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget it was no problem good luck with your story it deserves to be heard I appreciate your support I hope this will save some lives in the long run thanks again for your help I'm gonna show this to my publisher okay god damn son Thirty out six ammo was gigantic all right. Uh, let's go take a look at calling from the Presidium. There is. All right. Okay, no. Let's just go this way. Oh yeah, no. I am planning on doing everything, and in Mass Effect Two, that's <laughs> um, a lot. Uh, I have all the DLC. 
uh, everything. So we shall, we shall have to see, I think. Um, I thought that there was a thing over here, probably. Yes, the single source. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the pursuit. I think. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Hey, what? Or not. Detonation <laughs> sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. You're not just a programmer of VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. I think that you're, you're uh, lying to me on that one. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, AIs are universally illegal. They must be destroyed upon contact without exception. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Well, way to be a dick. What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal. And I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. But... but why? Alright, well, let's just sort of... I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Oh shit. Um, down. Down. Okay. Well, that was easy. You're dead and you're dead now. Goodbye. Alrighty. Is there anything else I need to do on the Presidium? Right, uh, talk to, what's her face? Natalia Dantius.
Ready. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the yes, human specter. Is there something I can do <coughs> for you? You're Nisana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. Didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dead. She's dead, Jim. Dahlia's dead, Nisana. And I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Okay. I think that's everything on the Presidium. Is there anything else in the wards that we need? We've done... Okay, let's see. Sounds about okay. No, private tears. No, I think I, th I think that's it. So tell me, who'd win in a fight between you and Shepard? That question smacks of impertinence. Commander Shepard is a specter with a distinguished service record. So was Saren. Think about it. <laughs> a lot less music going up in this elevator. Stand by, shore right, party. Decontamination in uh, progress. <clears throat> Things done. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved.
Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She quick. shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. <laughs> there is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. Hmm. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. Presley's the XO. He is literally, not by law, but by uh, policy, uh, my. So pretty. I love. I love the gorgeous uh, nebula pictures. But anyway, Presley's. Well, he doesn't like the aliens. And the Citadel's full of aliens, so yeah, it's fine. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. <laughs> Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance oh, officer good. named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Hedda cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. That's He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. Well... <sighs> you said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Hmm. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection. Well. And they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. You can't let him go on like this. Awkward. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers killed him. That's a little awkward. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Elias soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. It's too late. Can you feel it? Too late. Can you feel it? I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Goddamn right. Hack it out. You want my help? You get my judgment. <laughs> scotch, scotch, scotch. Is that Clint Dragon? Oh, yeah, this is fun. Yeah, I uh, just bought an M1 uh, 
uh, at uh, the Dulles show. I'm certain what we're doing in Korea, and uh, just picking up some. I want to go to the range with. So I'm just loading that. So that's what's going on in the background. Uh, the, but the mass accelerated round of, ima of unimaginative power. Something left a scar the size of. No, gigantic scar. Anyway, on the planet. Um, that's in Mass Effect 2, actually. Oh, how much was the rifle? Uh, a grand. <laughs> a grand for a grand. I think I got a pretty good deal on that, actually. Oh yeah, I think you were telling me about that, uh, uh, rather t telling the Reddit chat about that, Quasi. That's, uh, bad breaks, man, I'm sorry. As always, oopsie. No, there we go. Let's hope Garrus doesn't decide to be troublesome. By that I mean, charge in and die. All right, where are we? We are on map. Press stop. So let's go take a look at the map for that. And no crooks. Press stop. There we go. Back to this. We have compounds down there, so we want to do that last. In which case, we sh we've also got something there and down there. So let's. Let's go over here first. Oh, wow. Look at that. You can see the scar from the mass accelerator round that, that hit all along the southern hemisphere of the, of the actual planet. That's a pretty cool, uh, not e it's, I don't count that as an Easter egg, but, um, okay. that's just a, a nice little touch, I suppose.
Moving out. Well, they're dead, Jim. We're going to do two solar systems and then... Uh, well, not, not solar systems, two clusters. And then what do you think? Uh, Vermeer or Novaria? I'm kind of leaning towards Novaria. I can't watch that video uh, right now. Uh, you can type, just type in chat and tell me what it is. I might might have watched it already. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. You'll... Damn, skipping. <laughs> Everyone looks at us like we're freaks, just because we have biotics. Well, you're not helping your case there, if I'm honest. Nobody cares about us biotics. We have to look out for each other. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I haven't actually seen that uh, that clip, so I'll have to watch that. Uh... If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up like those other Alliance soldiers. Well, uh, just just ping me with it on on Slack because the I guess I'm assuming I'm going to be streaming until my eyes bleed tonight. So. All right. Uh. Father Kyle, where are you? Father Kyle says other humans are scared of us because they know we're better than them. Well, you're certainly a little more unstable. Uh, just get that out of the way, right? Right now. So. Um, 
Okay. Where's Father Kyle? Is he in the bunker? I guess he's in the bunker. All right. All right. The one bad thing about having a computer this fast is that all the loading screens take uh, no time. So you can't pour yourself another drink or look of that sort. <clears throat> Just instantly. Oh, we're done. Okay. If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up like those other Alliance soldiers. I don't think any of you would be able to kill me. Let's let's just be clear right here. I am doing this out of the goodness of my heart. Not because I'm actually afraid of any of you. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me. They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I don't think that's what they did. I did what, what I did. could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was you necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You're a little crazy. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. Sorry's just not gonna cut it, sir. You killed people. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. Come quietly, without interruption, without complaint. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Your pilot can have an Alliance Command Patrol pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. <coughs> we can't trust the Alliance. You can trust me. I'm trustworthy. This is Jedi Mind Trick. All right, uh, we have two, two eep, more uh, spots to go to, I believe.
I'm on my way. Gold. Terrible thing, but or unexpected, I suppose. Handling all the press casings. Hi. Redeploying. That level. Now, they say there might be something over here. I'm just going to take a look and check it out. That does, in fact, look like a thing. It's over here. Perimeter clear. I don't understand what that was, but okay, we're done. Uh, no, I don't play tanks anymore. Uh, I, I beat the game. Uh, I had all the tier 10s I wanted. And Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. Without? We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it. Because I'm just awesome? A lot of lives. Congratulations. Um, between XVM uh, and being good at the game, I'd be targeted. I wouldn't be able to do things. It'd just become unfun. That's why I'm playing, playing boats right now. And I'm oh, super desperate for boats as well. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher Moor. Shit. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments, trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Well, Service is shit. after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Bad Admiral gets to keep his life, and the good Admiral gets dicked.
Private owner, Dr. R. Hart. Garrus. Rex. Getting your fondest wish here, Garrus. Not besides getting into my pants. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. We'll take him in, drop him off with the military. But we have him! We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to, or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the Commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Damn, well, I skipping. guess we're done here. He's done everything. He ever will. He can't hurt anybody anymore. Let's go have a chat with Garrus. Uh, door? There we go. Line. Line! Jesus, come on, come on here. There we go. Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. 
I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Stress relief, maybe? Eh? 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 I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Sure. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really <gasps> dragging from the heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I don't think that's a major issue. I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Not your call. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. It's a risk, risk that we're gonna have to take. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> All right. Uh, we talked with Tally. We talked with um, Garrus. Liara. Yes, we're gonna go talk with Liara some more. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. No, not really. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. First quarry in a... Well, not the first quarry in a... Quarry in a really helped, helped things. We couldn't <clears> have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever awesome? happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Bye. All right, let's go talk with racist girl. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Uh, why? Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. No. My commanders always find out. I totally didn't know. Like or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Welp. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm Just not gonna let idiot. our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. 
What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. Tough call. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Alenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. Uh, I also play a mean game of pool. When when I want But anyway, you know, the I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. What's your opinion of the last mission? Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> well, you're not wrong on that one, Williams. It's pretty shitty. Not gonna not gonna lie. Alright, let's put that and lock them down. Dismissed, Chief. <clears throat> Ma'am. Once we hit Rex's armor, then we'll talk with him again. It takes literally no time to do this. Um, yeah, nothing on the because we don't care about Caden. <coughs> Let's see here. System? I can't remember. I think so. Message coming in. Of course. Patching it through. I've received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Of course you do. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on a cruise. There was a well massacre then. there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. We know what those classified this is doing. as a natural hazard, but the project dates coincide with the attacks. You think these scientists had something to do with the attack? I'm not certain what I think, but it's worth investigating. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Hmm. Shocking. Another uh, time where there's been a large glancing impact. Well, he's not necessarily wrong. Or, not necessarily. He's not wrong, like, at all. All right, we'll have Ultron in a second.
Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Oh, right, we've got to talk to Liara. On to Ram. There we are. Alrighty, back to Mass Effect. We, where, where, what do you have on this one? We have a, something down there, 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 there. So we're going to go clockwise again. Oh, uh, Quasi, you never answered me, by the way. Um, Neveria or Vermeer? I'm leaning towards Neveria right now, but what do you think? See what we're feeling like in another uh, solar system or two. All right. Well, uh, you can take a look at the YouTube uh, the VOD. Have fun. Suspension on this thing reminds me of a trophy truck. Honestly. <coughs> yeah. well, that was less than useful. a soldier. Yeah. 
I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! It's Corporal! Corporal Toombs! Oh, you don't get to lie! Not today! Today it all comes out! What all comes out? I'm listening, but I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand! I don't want to kill anyone! I... I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams! Well... I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice! Can't you see that Tombs is crazy? Shoot him! No. But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on Akuz. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Toombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Ever had Thresher Maw acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They're part of some organization, Cerberus, that runs secret tests Cerberus. like this. They treated me like a lab animal. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. I have lots of rights. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coup, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. That Maybe I can promise. Maybe the screaming will stop now. That I can I don't promise. Know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Go, go, go! Ah! Alright. So I've shot them a bunch. Let's go over there and get my... Uh, 
Platinum! Make a ring. Oh, Palladium. I don't think I want to make a ring out of that. Turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operation. Shut area. up, Joker. I'm your manager. Sky. Thanks, cows. Message coming in. Again? Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Toombs seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. I am good. Talking Ada yet? We did one, two, three, four, five, six. We got one, two, three, four, five. Local cluster shouldn't have been much. Close, we'll get hit by a random Russian satellite. Luna. All right, let's 
see what we've got here for maps. Luna, okay. <clears throat> we have there and there. And technically there's things there and there, but they're not like marked at all. It's not the resources, so I don't care. Anymore. Soviet designed probe. I am looking at now. Yes. So what? What do? What do the twentieth century Soviets have to offer me? They have things that wouldn't have ever been invented. Cool. I'm glad we're giving the Russian super scientists some credit. Until a continent we're looking at. That odd moaning in the background is apparently the um, bugs. Who is the rachni sound? It's a very odd thing to have. Jill all the stuff up. <clears throat> so we're on, we're on Luna, uh, if you don't remember, to stop a rogue. Well, they're calling it a VI, but I think we're all in agreement that maybe the Alliance is not necessarily telling us the entire truth on that one. Um, and this could possibly be a. Uh, AI. Additionally, uh, to the question asked in chat, um, uh, we're, we're inside our tank, so there could be a uh, resonance with the metal of the tank to hear it make sounds. Hey, I'm just pulling. I'm just uh, manufacturing bullshit to spec, sir. They don't want to give me a good explanation. I will pull one right out of my colon.
Alright, looks like we're gonna get in clusters. Perimeter clear. Cluster. Securing point. <clears throat> That's it. Bag him and tag him. Bag him and tag him. Yeah, Garris. We got them all, Shepard. Last and might be, uh, that's it. Bag him and tag him. Might take me till about midnight, but hey, I ain't going anywhere, so. Hmm. That's right. I know what I'm gonna have to stop for. Uh, I'll go find the bringing down the sky DLC. One DLC in this game that's actually worth a damn. I'm on my way. Finally, some action! Garrus, you have been on every single away mission so far. It's been literally nothing but action. You might have to. Rockets coming in at it, in, 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 at, ugh. in at us.
delicious, delicious venison jerky. Not jerky, uh, sausage. My brother in law said, yeah. Stick of it. Quasi, you might want to take a look. The code that that has come up with is apparently binary for something like help me, I believe. Um, well, I'll just read it out. A burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens you. Your hard suit's heads up display interprets it into a series of zeros and ones. Ones? They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flicker and die. So, yes, I believe it is saying, help me. And you achieve your specialization class. So fun! You killed someone who, you killed the VI who had become an AI and who just wanted to to live. Good job. Hope you feel good about yourself. Remember this moment. And remind me in Mass Effect 2 about it, because there's payoff. Done, Hawking, Ada. Did we do the Kepler merge? I, I, I can't remember, honestly. We need, I know we need these five systems here. Bavaria, Exodus, Gemini, Argus, Rome, and C. I can't remember if we've done these ones, though. Newton and her. Oh, yeah, we have. Okay. We've done Hawking, Ada, yes? Right? I think so. and then these five systems right here left. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to do one, hit Averia, do three, hit Vermeer. Uh, actually, no. Do two, uh, grab, um, what is it? Bring it on the, s oh, actually, you know, I should do that now. Um, in fact, I will be back in five or ten minutes once I figure out how to get bringing it on the sky installed on this machine. And then we'll go do that, actually. So I'll be back in five or ten.